what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today i am very excited because one of my subscribers had suggested me that why i don't do something for the youth <laughs> so paying heed to her advice she's a uh, elder to me so it's my duty to follow whatever she says so she suggested me that why don't i make videos on teenage and youth i was like yes that is what i always wanted to do because teenage youth is the most precious time of your life why oh my god <laughs> i forgot what should i say yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him <laughs> and if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then probably you will surely subscribe after seeing this video subscribe somewhere here there and if you are interested in having a personal consultation with me then approach me in my website very renaissance below and mail me accordingly and else if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end of course so what is youth or which phase of life is known as youth ideally there is no definition <laughs> because in hindi as they say na budhape mein bhi jawani <laughs> it means some people never uh, feel as if they become old they free feel that they are ever fresh they are ever young they are ever youthful yes and that is also true but when is that true for everybody that is true for everybody when we are connected to the divine source the higher energy that is god himself otherwise after some time when we get married then we have children and then our face has started developing wrinkles and our pancreas is gone it's not able to secrete insulin or we are having insulin resistance in our body and our teeth are surrendering <laughs> to anything that we put inside yes the teeth are telling oh my god that's it we can't help you to chew this anymore and when our uh, legs are crackling our kidney is not working anymore then this will happen if we are not spiritually elevated so or spiritually connected because in materialistic life the graph always goes down see beginning what happens you are a child then you are very enthusiastic you are bubbling with energy enthusiastic then you go up 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 you reach the youth 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 then the graph starts going like this 27 30 35 40 45 50 <laughs> the graph becomes null it becomes void it becomes zero which means as people old become old as people age their energy their enthusiasm their vigor their power everything goes down their intellect also starts dwindling yes now you may gain more experience with you age but what i am saying here is your ability to hold information that will also reduce as you age after some time you will not remember anything as they say the alzheimer's disease or i don't know all those technical terms where uh, as in hindi they say na sathiya gaya hai <laughs> that means this old person has gone mad now he or she doesn't uh, understand what to speak whom to speak how much to speak and how much not to speak yes that is the standard trajectory of material life go up go down go up go down go up go down but if you want to not go down after your 20s if you only want to go up then you have to just do one thing that is maintain your spiritual life <clears throat> that is the only thing you have to do and when you do that successfully you will see your energy will be ever enthusiastically increasing like uh, so many of my gurus i i know they are in their 40s in their 30s but the energy that they have is probably billions of times or billions or trillions or quadrillions of times more than the energy which a teenager has <laughs> how that is why that is 
Is it that their bodies are very powerful? No. They also have bodily problems. One of my gurus, he uh, can't even eat rice. Uh, he can eat probably roti, but that's a roti which is made with a particular substance. And that's his situation in 40s. And God knows what will happen uh, when he ages more. In 60s, maybe he, he only have to uh, stay by drinking water. And there are so many other people I know, spiritually elevated, who are also suffering uh, some bodily ailments. All right. But then still, how are they able to maintain the enthusiasm, the vigor? How? That is because they are not on the level of the body. For them, the body is just like a covering. You see, the body is just like a home, a place where they are staying, but they are not the body. <laughs> Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Mama Ivam Sho Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatana. The living entity is eternally my part and parcel. That means everybody is a part and parcel of God. And Lord Krishna also says, Nayanam Chindanti Shastrani Nayanam Dhati Pavakaha. No. So there are so many shlokas in the scriptures, especially in the Gita, which says that you cannot destroy the soul. You cannot even touch it. Nayanam <laughs> chindanti shastrani. You cannot kill the soul. You cannot harm it with the soul. Nayanam dahati pavakaha. You cannot hurt it. That means they, these personalities who are in their 40s, in their 50s, in their 60s, in their 80s. Have you seen the great Dalai Lama? Who is Dalai Lama? Somebody can put it in the comments. Yes, I will not say who is Dalai Lama. He's a Buddhist, yes, by religion and a great spiritualist by heart. <laughs> so, if you stay near Dalai Lama, you will never feel that, oh my God, this person is an old person. He's in his 60s, 70s or 80s maybe. I don't know what his age is as per material calculations, but he looks to be very old to me, materially. <laughs> But have you seen the level of enthusiasm and power and this person has? How does he have that? Because he is very elevated spiritually in his consciousness. Although his body is going down, every moment his body is degrading. Yes, that is what science also says. Every day there are cells which are dying and our body is undergoing cleansing. And every seven years, all the cells of your body is replenished again. That means what you are now and what you are seven years back is completely different. <laughs> so how that happens? Even if the body is degrading, because from the very moment you were born, from that time, the only thing is happening is your body is going down. <laughs> you may say, oh, I became youthful, but you became youthful to get old and then ultimately to die. Yes, death is the ultimate aim of staying in this material body but then how are these people so much enthusiastic so much powerful so much full of vigor and life because they act on a different plane they do not take into considerations the superficial difficulties which they face by staying in this body yes because of that nothing can affect them it can affect them physically but that doesn't get into their head nor does any specific compliment related to the physique. For example, suppose there's a spiritually elevated person who, are, who uh, looks very beautiful. Yes, externally, suppose. Then suppose somebody comes and tells him that, Oh, sir, you look so handsome. He'll be like, okay. <laughs> he's not pointing to me. He's pointing to my body. Yes, there's a big difference. A materialistic person cannot understand this difference. For a materialistic person, he or she identifies himself as the body. But that is not the case because Lord Krishna says in the Gita, you are not the body. You are the spirit soul. <laughs> you are the Atma. You are the Chitta. The difference between Chit and Chitta is, Chit is pure consciousness which is directly divine. But when the pure consciousness starts identifying itself with the material nature, three modes, Sattva, Raja, Tama, then it becomes chitta. A means impurity. Uh, there are so many meanings in Sanskrit of the word A. A also means elongated. A also means not. <laughs> but 
But when I am saying chit and chitta, here it means chitta refers to the consciousness which has been polluted by this material world. Then what happens? The soul feels as if I am this body. Yes. Then the soul starts identifying. Okay, this person is my wife. This person is my husband. This person is my friend. This person is my enemy. And then what happens? You suffer, right? <laughs> suppose a person dies next door to you. Nothing will happen to you. You will not feel bad. But suppose something happens to a near and dear one with whom you are attached. What happens? Things go haywire, right? Completely. There's uh, there's loss of mental peace. Why? Because that person has a separate existence. But we are identifying that. Oh. If something happens to that person, it will affect us also. Yes, that is why we are having pain. But when you maintain your spiritual quotient, <laughs> then what happens is you will realize that although your body is dwindling, but your consciousness is going higher and higher. That means you as a spirit soul is moving close to the ultimate aim. Yes, that is what Srimad Bhagavatam says. <laughs> the ultimate aim of the spirit soul should be to reach God. That is that is supposed to be the ultimate goal. All right. And then what happens? Even if you are at the age of 80 or 90, it's just a number. <laughs> People say age is just a number, but that is only true for spirituality. Otherwise, you will see as cinema stars become old, their beauty dwindles. Nobody respects them. Yes. Suppose today there's a great Indian uh, film star who is still alive. He's very old. I'll not take his name. After he dies, how many people will remember him? Now you may say, okay, there will be hundreds of people going when he's dying. That may be true, but his fame will not be there as it was when he was young. That's the same with sports stars. Anything material you take, that has a limitation. When I was in my childhood, <laughs> then uh, the most famous cricketers were Sachin Tendulkar and Saurav Ganguly. But now my cousin brother, he doesn't know who is Saurav Ganguly. <laughs> now you may say, oh, that's the problem of your brother. He's ignorant. He should know that gen that's general knowledge. No, I'm not talking of general knowledge here. He knows who is Saurav Ganguly. <laughs> but he does not know Saurav Ganguly that way, the way I used to know him. Like my father is fascinated with Kapil Dev because he brought the World Cup to India, the Cricket World Cup. But if you ask me, oh, do you like Kapil Dev? I'll be like, sorry, sir, I've never seen him playing. <laughs> so how will I develop a fascination for him? That's not possible. I may see recorded clips but that will not be like watching him live, right? So similarly now, Sachin Tendulkar has retired 10 years back. Now, there's a, there are different people who are into uh, the limelight, right? And then after 20 years, they will also go. And after 50 years, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe cricket will only be abolished. So these are just examples which I am giving. But those who are spiritually elevated or connected at least their name and fame will surpass all boundaries yes for example whatever swami vivekananda did irrespective of time and space gender race community creed color irrespective of all this that will still hold true every day every moment yes and so many great uh, saints and sages like maharshi valmiki he wrote the ramayana that will be a source of light and wisdom for eternity. Either he is existing or he is not existing, it doesn't matter. Vyasdev wrote entire Vedic literatures. That will always hold true. That will always be able to give enlightenment. Irrespective of who is the prime minister of our country, right? Or who is the president. So there you see. And which is the age where you can cultivate spiritual wisdom at its peak? Oh my God, maybe it's the age of 50, right? No, it's not the age of 50. It is the age of 15. <laughs> because see, when you are a child, you don't understand much, right? Zero, 
for the first 10 years of your life goes in figuring out okay who am i my mother is this my father is this this is my teacher she's beating me he's beating me there i have to beat him i have to beat that one that girl also <laughs> yes i have seen girls uh, pulling each other's hair these days <laughs> So the first 10 years of your life will go in figuring out what this world is. Na? Who are these people? Who am I? You will keep speculating all the time. But then when you come to the youth, the age of 15, that is the time where you have the biggest power to change your trajectory. What do I mean by changing the trajectory? Changing the trajectory means when do most of the people spoil? Yes, it is in their youth. It is not when they are old. If somebody is having some terrible bad habit like drinking, smoking, it's very likely that they have got it in their youth when they have gone for bachelors, especially that age of 18, that's a very dangerous age. So now if you are a person who is watching this video and who is not of the age of, who is below the age of 18, then consider yourself to be very lucky because not many people get to watch this video <laughs> before the age of 18. Yes. So then what happens? You have two options, two tracks. And I'm not talking of 18 here. This will hold true for a person who is at the age of 50, 60 also. But I'm just trying to uh, categorize it into a time frame so that it's better to understand. So you have two ways now. You have two ways. Either you can go on the materialistic journey or you can go on the spiritual journey all right now going into the spiritual journey doesn't mean that you don't go to college you don't work you don't get married you don't have children no it doesn't mean that it simply means that instead of going and staying with those people who will teach you bad things who will teach you rubbish nonsense garbage junk that which will not give you any help that which will degrade you that which will pull you down instead of staying with them you can go and find spiritual personalities whose association, whose divine blessings, their power will empower you to stay strong and also take up commitments during youth that yes, I will chant this mala every day for 10 minutes. I will visit this temple every day or maybe every Sunday. <laughs> Instead of uh, like when I was in my bachelor's, I remember the only uh, thing the people in the mundane community, my friends, they used to do the only form of memories which I have is every Saturday, they will go to the same mall. How rubbish it is. <laughs> I used to feel choked. I used to be like, oh, what nonsense, man. The same mall you are going every day. What's there? Just another new movie. It's the same old nonsense. <laughs> As they say, the same old wine in a new glass. Yes. Instead of that, why don't you go and seek enlightenment from somebody? No, no, but not, that they will not do because they say, oh, that's very boring. Yes, because you are so much bored with reality that illusion seems to be so interesting. And that which will give you happiness, which will bring you to the original reality, which is the platform of soul, appears to be very boring to you. Yes. So therefore, youth is the time. When we have to choice, um, we have the choice to make a decision, and between which of the crossroads do we want to choose in life? Either we want to go this side or we want to go that side. You can have friends. There is no problem in having friends. But if your friends are the only ones who motivate you to drink, smoke, or to talk about how is this opposite sex looking? Oh, this girl is beautiful. Oh, that boy is so handsome. If those are the only talks which are going on, then we can fall at the feet of God and pray, Oh God, please give me some friends who are having some inquisitiveness spiritually. All right. And by that, we will definitely earn spiritual merits and we will be able to leave a legacy when we die. Otherwise, we will just die like another person. <laughs> All right, that is it from my side. Youth and this series I've started and I'll be posting more videos on this and stay tuned to this. And if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, then subscribe somewhere here. And if you know somebody who is below the age of 18, then please forward them this video. All right. And if you want a consultation, then approach me in my website below. And if you like this video, of course, then click the thumbs up and share it with everybody else. 
and until next time wish you good luck with your youth <laughs> bye bye see you